everybody. So we're going to be talking about the overgarment right now and we have our fabric laid out for the sake of time and we're going to be talking about the writings that's on the pattern. So here I have my, my back and my front and the back says cut times two on fold and the front says cut times four on fabric. And now I already have my fabric laid double. Uh, this is a fold line over here and that's a fold line over there. So when I place my back on the fold line of the fabric and I trace around them and I cut it and that means it's cut times two on fabric, yeah? Uh, sorry, cut times two on fold, yeah? So there's my back and my front cut times four on fabric. I lay it close to the back as possible because we don't want to waste any fabric. I trace around them and when I cut the, back, the front out it will be cut times four on fabric because it's four layers of fabric on top of each other, right? Alright, so I've gone ahead and traced around my patterns for the sake of time and when I remove my, my back, you might not see it in the video, but here is trace lines around the back and of course trace lines around the front. Maybe if I can zoom in a little bit more, there we go. So my front, the only thing I would like to mention with the front is after you've traced around it, I would like you to copy the dot over. Remember the dot has a start point right up top here and then it has an end point on the bus line. So take your pen or your pencil and then stick it in that hole there of the dot and just transfer that dot over to the fabric so that you can have it on the other side. You see my pen sticking through? So that I can have it transferred to the fabric. Cool. Once you have that, now we are ready to cut the fabric. And I'll cut the fabric and I'll show you guys in the next video. Um, in my case, I'm going to have the outer white and the inner I'm going to have like an olive green sort of color. So that is what I'm going to have for the inner. And if you are doing something like, in my case, you want to actually cut then these two panels times two and times one, and then you transfer to your other fabric and cut it again times two and times one. All right, I'll show you in the next video, guys. Everybody, so after we have gone ahead and cut everything, so here's our back. We have to remove our pattern, of course. We have one, two for the back and both of them is still on fold and then we have four for the front removing the pattern one two three four four layers of front and the only thing that i would like you guys to copy now for after this point is the dot transferring the dot like i mentioned in the previous video but i wanted to show you guys how we're going to go doing that so at this moment in time you want to grab your needle or a pin needle or pin after you have transferred the point over from the pattern to the fabric the next thing we want to do is grab the needle and jab it in that point there that we made with the pin the mark straight through all of the layers yeah bring it closer to the camera there we go the pin is going through all four layers of the fabric the reason for that is so that we can have a guideline in marking that bus point on all of the layers yeah so let me zoom in real quick take our pen now that the needle is in there we lift up each of the layers and then we make a mark on the inside on both of it of course yeah and then only on the wrong side of the fabric guys of course on the inner side of the fabric there we go and then I remove my needle and now I open my layers there we go so the dot has been transferred and at this moment in time grab your pen and a ruler and I would like you to copy the dots in with your pen and your ruler and this is now my inside of my fabric or the wrong side of the fabric You might say that your calico doesn't have a right and a wrong side. Um, so what you can do is take two layers, like this would be two and that would be two layers, right? Yeah, facing each other like that. 
and then these two layers will get dot inside the way they are laying and then those two layers you open them and then you make the dots on the inside that's as simple as that yeah so I'll go ahead and do all the dots and then we will talk in the next so video here we have our over garment here yeah? and we have our front facing each other this is the wrong side of the fabric or the inside of the fabric and here's my dots I've traced in the dots so it's easy for me to sew so two panels here and another two there so it makes it four panels for the front and then of course on this side here we have two panels for the back all right and now we are ready to sew this over garment together and the first thing first order of business when we sew it we will start sewing the dots that is the first step that we're going to do so this is the wrong side again and I'll be preparing the dots first yeah I'll sew all four of them and once the dots are prepared now we will start putting the shoulder lines together and all of that but that is going to be in the next video um, also to make it a little bit easier on the video I have decided to cut another two panels on olive green so when I start sewing these panels together for the sake of the video it's easier for you guys to see and follow along because there's two different colors yeah so it will be like that all right let's check in for the next video